Hey artists, Mr. Salcedo here. I want to talk to you about a really important subject that affects us all. That subject is peace. Peace is freedom from disturbance, a lack of war or conflict, agreement and harmony among people. Everybody needs peace in order to thrive, but many people around the world, or even here where we live, do not get to experience peace. September 21st is the United Nations International Day of Peace, a day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace. We need to do our part to create peace for one and all. One thing we can do is send a message of peace with an art project, Pinwheels for Peace. Pinwheels for Peace was started in 2005 by two art teachers, Anne Ayers and Ellen McMillan. Not only are pinwheels fun to build and play with, they can also be used to send an important message, a message like the importance of getting along, speaking in a kind way, helping others, caring for each other and the earth with our healing heart and hands, respecting people in each and every land. I'm going to show you how to make your own pinwheel for peace using simple materials you probably have at home. First of all, you'll need paper, colored pencils or crayons, white glue or a glue stick, a pencil with an eraser on top, one straight pin, ask your adult if they have one in their sewing kit, and finally a small piece of cardboard or thick paper, no bigger than a finger. Creating your pinwheel for peace is pretty easy. First, the paper. The art paper you picked up at school is way too large. We need to have a 6 by 6 inch square of paper. I'm going to show you how to make your own. Take out one sheet of the large 12 by 18 inch paper, fold it in half, a hamburger fold, then fold in half again, another hamburger fold. Open up and cut on the folds so you now have four smaller pieces of paper. Save three for later. With one of these smaller pieces of paper, take one corner and pull it toward the opposite side to form a diagonal fold, like this. Crease the paper, then cut off the extra. Open up your paper. You should notice you now have a six inch square with one diagonal fold. Make another diagonal fold so your paper now has two creases going through the center. Make a dot in your paper right in the center. Now use a ruler to measure out from the center one and a half inches, making a pencil mark on the crease. Continue around the shape making more pencil marks on the creases, each one and a half inches from the center. These dots will be useful later. Now it's time to decorate your pinwheel. Start on one side by writing your wish for peace in words or phrases. You can color the whole side in too. On the other side, Add color or pictures related to your message. Now use your scissors to cut on the diagonal creases, stopping at the dots you drew earlier. You'll make four cuts. Make sure you don't go too far. Stop at the dots. Put a little glue in the center of one side of your pinwheel. Bend one cut corner towards the center and stick it down. Do not crease the paper, just bend it. Add more glue to the center if needed. Skip the next cut corner and bend the one after that. Skip and bend until four points meet in the center.
Now take that little scrap of cardboard or thick paper and cut two small pieces about the size of your biggest fingernail. If you want, you can cut the corners to make these little cardboard pieces round, but you don't have to do that. Depending on your age, this last part might need the help of an adult or older sibling. Poke the straight pin through the center of one of the cardboard pieces. Now poke the pin through the center of the pinwheel. You might need to look on back to see exactly where the center is. Poke the other piece of cardboard so it is behind your pinwheel. Finally, poke the pin into the side of the eraser on your pencil. Careful, don't poke your finger. For best spin, you may need to adjust the distance between the pinwheel and the eraser. When it blows easily in the wind, you are ready to send your message. Take a picture of your pinwheel for peace and submit it here on Seesaw. Then stick it in your yard or flower pot or maybe your front window if it's raining. You have now sent your message for peace.